Hey guys, in this video I thought I'd take a look at this light. Uh, considering I haven't even tested it to see if it works, I don't see why it won't because it's a brand new light. You now there's uh, no cutouts been used on it whatsoever. So, I learnt the lesson from the last video, I've gone and got the tripod. So I can actually uh, put you in view of the light. So I'm going to start by removing the cover so we can have a little uh, look inside. In fact, when I put this together, all the screws and fixings were in a bag inside the light. So, uh, this light has not been used. Now, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet. I know my stepdad is requiring some um, extra lighting up in the attic. So, I, am, I have been racking my brains. Let's see if I can come up with something. Okay. Uh, so it takes um, one of these D-type tubes, uh, which is what the one on my ceiling in here uses, but a larger tube. This is quite a small one. And it's a Phillips tube as well. But that should just pop off. Two contacts. Uh, I'll leave that off for a moment. I do believe I've got a spare one. Yeah, I have. I've got a spare one in the um, cupboard, so... Still in the packet, actually. found it when uh, Mum moved into their new... Um, or into their current house. Oh, there's no electrics for that whatsoever. It's all on this. So, uh, to test it, I don't even need to make a hole in that. That's alright, then. Ooh. How do you connect wires to that? <laughs> um, answers on a postcard? <laughs> Never seen a connector like that. I think I'm going to need stiff wire. I don't think um, this wire is going to be any good. I might need an actual um, section of 1.5mm T and E cable. I'm, I'm, I can try. There's one, two, oh I see, you just push the cables in, ooh, what I'll do just for safety, I'll uh, pop this back on the base, it's only held on with four little tabs, I'll show you in just a second, and the cable uh, should be alright. Uh, don't tell me it's actually only going I'll just hold it in position so yeah we've got these four little tabs that you just, they're easy enough just to pull and then you pop it up what we've got written on the label I'll oh, head up the right way to begin with <laughs> 16 watt 2D 2 pin that's, that's what they call it, a 2D tube yeah. WHI, I presume, stands for white, 240 volt, 50 hertz. It's a 16 watt light then. Okay, so I'll plug this back on. These will only go on one way round. I've got a feeling it's that way. Clips into place like that. camera did I? But they just put push in and pull off. Simple to change. So here we go. Will we go bang or will we light up? Whee! I don't think that would be suitable. Um well not suitable. I know my stepdad's not looking for something like that. He's looking for a spotlight. Um I don't actually have any spotlight fittings, but what I can do well, I don't have any like this. Not unless I take those down and give him those. And that's a possibility. But um, the other thing I can do is use a standard batten fitting. And, um... Um... Just put a 
spotlight bulb in that. Although that would be at the wrong angle. He needs to angle it, really. Uh, Um, well, I don't need both those spotlights up there, so I'll take one down and I'll take it with me um, when I go over to Mum's next. Anyway, let's get back to this. So that works. There's no earth, so I'm not going to... It's not live anyway, but... It's really weird. Just push the cables in. Hmm. Well, I know that works. Like, um... Mum's bathroom could do with a new fitting, so I think this is what I'm going to save this light fitting for. Because there's just crap that's in there. It does the job, but it's just dim as hell. In fact, it was identical to the outside light that they had up when they first moved in, which I took down, and I've put a... Um, be careful, because there's two tubes hot in the middle of this. Um... I took the outside light down because it was crap. You couldn't see stuff all. And it's exactly the same as the one in the bathroom. It's crap. But the ceiling needs work. Because it's sort of falling a bit. Actually, the whole bathroom needs work, really. Um, so I'm holding off for the time being, but I will get hold of this light fit and fetch off. Oh. Oh. That worked good. I just bent the um, tray. And I'm all bloody. <laughs> oh, I see, that's the earth connect connection. Right. Yeah, that's right. I saw a metal tab sticking through there, and I'm like, what the heck is that? It's just the uh, contact for the earth. Right. Let's try and get this on again. This is quite fiddly because you've got to line everything up. So actually, ah, I was wondering if there was a right way and a wrong way, and there is. Um, these notches in here have actually got to line up with the screw posts. So keep that one in mind. That might go, um, it's gone on a lot better now. Tube back on. I don't actually like um, how springy that board is. Look at that. No idea what the heck that was, but it just made me jump. <laughs> yeah. yeah I don't, I'm not keen on how springy that is, because uh, it actually puts a bend in the plate when you do that. I thought that should be a better idea to make sure the tube is fitted with the plate on for future reference. But that's not going to go anywhere now. Cover on. This is a smaller version of what I've got in the bathroom. I don't actually know why they put the big thing I've got in there in um, in the bathroom in the first place because it's a bit overkill. It's pretty damn bright in there, which isn't a bad thing because. Uh, at least I can see what I'm doing in the bathroom. That screw just actually felt like that re-threaded that post. I don't know why, because I took the screws out here. They should screw it straight in. Alright, next. Yeah, I should just screw straight in like that one. Oh well. Maybe there's a bit of grit or something in there. Right, last screw. I should have powered it up with the cover on, really, shouldn't I? But it's going to look exactly like the one in my bathroom anyway, so... I want to see what one looks like. I've got exactly the same as that, as an outside light there as well. We've got the um, communal light up on the ceiling out there, then we've got a personal one um, as well. But but they're actually good lights, I do like them. They're pretty bright, they're good for an outside light. Um, in one of Mum's old houses, they did have one exactly like that actually outside. Actually, no, two of them. The Victory have been using those for quite a while. Um, I don't know how 
expensive a new tube would be for one of them. I think they're a sort of... I can't remember. They're not a standard tube either, so I can't just walk into a, sta you know, a standard department store in town and get one. Um, prob probably because they're not a common style of light. Um, but I can get them, or you can order them off eBay or whatever. So, that concludes this short video, or 10 minute video. Didn't really uh, talk much about this one though, did I? But they're all fluorescent lights, they all work pretty much the same way. So once you've seen one, you've seen them all. But I just thought it would be interesting to uh, open this up and make sure it works. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video.